I honestly believe the Lord wanted me to buy this home. So I bought this 910-foot square house. And I shouldn't have bought it because the, I remember when I walked through it and I put my hand on the door and I remember that, Kathy? About 35 roaches came out on my hand. I went, I am, I went, my oh God. I opened up there, Roach City, USA. And I thought, oh, man, there must have been some dirty people living in this place. You could see those roaches going, hey, food. <laughs> so, boy, for two weeks before I moved, I sprayed that house every day. Walls, I mean the floors, because there's no furniture in it, nothing I got. And then roaches died, but seemed like by the millions. Got them all out. It was a house on piers. Now, in South Louisiana, you don't get cold. It, it, it may freeze, but not very often. So I, I, the man told me that I bought the house from me. He said, you might want to insulate those pipes. I said, insulate the pipe. Now, I am not a mechanical person. I don't fix things. Kathy is the fixer of all things. Something wrong with my Harley? I send it to Kathy. <laughs> Kathy fixed that Harley. Make her no devil's blessing. She likes getting into that stuff. I like watching her. <laughs> she does a good job on that stuff. Anyway, a cold snap came in. They said, run the water. Well, we forgot to run the water. This was the first home I'd ever owned in my life. Well, the next morning we got up, turned on the water, nothing. And my, I called my dad. He said, your pipe froze, boy. He said, but they may not have busted. I said, well, what is this sound <laughs> under my house? He said, they busted. <laughs> I said, uh, Dad, can you come help me? No, I can't do it today, son. I said, Dad, I've never fixed a joint. I don't know how to do that. He said, well, just heal up the crack. Go get a joint of pipe. Find out what's busted. Cut the water off. I said, where at? He said, usually it's in the front of your house by the street, the main. He said, sometimes they got valves. And you don't have to go to the main valve. They may have a valve somewhere in your house. You cut that off to the, and then you can fix it. I said, Daddy, it's 30 degrees. He said, welcome to the world. <laughs> I said, Dad, I'm going to have to crawl underneath that house. There's water and mud in there. You'd be surprised what was under there. <laughs> so I put on my coveralls. I look, and there's a lake of water. I said, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to drag my body in that water and mud. And it's 30 degrees. I said, Kathy, she said, you're the man of the house. So I looked and I saw this valve. So I cut the valve off. I thought, that's that valve Dad was talking about. I looked and then sure enough, man, there was a split. And when I cut, the water came off. So I said, great. I went to the store, bought the wrong size kind of pipe. Had the wrong kind. Got back and I'm full of mud. And you're laying in that mud and it's cold. I mean cold and it's aggravating. And I don't know how broke glass gets under your house. Everything, get under your house. So I'm dragging myself, I need to pull it, and I'm cutting myself. Boy, and I'm going, ah! And there's spiders everywhere going, hi, hello. I'm like, and you gotta work like this. I need some help. I gotta break this joint of pipe out. I need a backup. So I say, Kelly, Kelly, what? I said, I need some help. She said, oh, I can't climb and eat that house. There's spiders under there. <laughs> I said, there were, I felt like saying there was 47 million roaches in it when we bought it. They just moved downstairs. <laughs> she said, I can't do that. That made me mad. I said, I need some help. She said, yeah, I can't crawl and eat that house. I said, why not? She said, it's dirty. I said, so, I can't do that, but I'll help you. How? <laughs> so I said, all right. So I'm trying to back this piece of pipe out, and I'm getting mad. I'm busting my knuckles. It's cold. Blood's hurting. My oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I even reverted to my Catholic days. Jesus, Mary, Joseph. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, Joseph. Oh, God. And I'm, I'm a preacher now, you know? But more, I'm getting madder because I can't get the pipe in there and it working. Finally, I say, which line? Is this the cold line or the hot line? 
And I looked. And then I ain't stupid. I said, okay, that's where the hot water is. Okay, that's the call. I said, now, Kathy, there's a, <laughs> there's a knob, the two knobs, one on the left, one on the right. Now, I'm hollering this through the floor of the, I'm going to need that layer. I said, don't touch the left knob. That's the hot water. Okay. I said, turn on the right knob. Why? Well, because the coal line's fixed. I, gotta, I, I can cut it off, but the hot line's busted and open now. She said, okay. <laughs> and she turned on the left knob. <laughs> hot water. I'm scalding. I, I die. Turn it off. Turn it off. What? What? Turn it off. I am being burnt. I am so mad. I had a fit. A carnality. The Lord said, Jesse, control yourself. I said, you not laying on your back in this mud with a crazy woman with a hot water trying to kill me. I said, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Finally, she said, oh, I'm sorry. I turned the wrong one. I'm sitting in water. I'm serious. It's up to here. I'm burnt. There's spiders looking at me. I'm cut on the back. I said, Kathy, come here. She comes out, and I see her little head looking at She says, Jesse, don't move. I'm thinking, God, there's a snake here. <laughs> What's the problem? Don't move. I could hardly move anyway. And all, all the while I was in there, I kept smelling something terrible. She said, don't move. There's a dead cat by your head. I lean, and there's a cat with his brains hanging out right there. I go, oh, man. I said, grab it. She said, I, I don't touch dead cats. I am not excited. I had a, I said, woman, when I get out from this house, I'm gonna kill you. And I'm gonna go to your mama's house and kill her too. I'm gonna kill everybody that has the name of Kyra. You understand me? I was so mad. I said, Kathy, grab that cat. I am not touching that. She's arguing. I am not touching that cat. I said, <laughs> so I grabbed, I, man, I pushed that cat and I started, all of a sudden I go, ah, something sticks me in the back. I go, God, what is this? I pull out this thorn. I said, what is this? She said, oh, I threw some cactus underneath the house. <laughs> cactus. A dead cat with brains hanging out. I'm scalded with water. I had a fit of carnality. I said, I don't care. I come crawling out that house, glass cutting thorns, guts in there. I got a dead cat in one hand, and I wrenched, and I'm going to beat my wife with in the next hand. <laughs> I come flying out that house. Thank God, my next door neighbor said, how you doing, preacher? I went. <laughs> he looked at that, he said, you know, I wouldn't touch that dead cat if I was you. I went, <laughs> he said, what's your problem? Now, I had been witnessing to this man. I said. <laughs> he said. Go ahead, cuss if you want to. I won't tell nobody. Go on. His name was Mr. Easton. That was his name. Every time you have a fit of carnality, you can take it to the bank. There's going to be somebody seeing you do it. He looked at me. He said, your wife won't help you, huh? I said, how'd you know that? He said, well, I busted a pipe earlier this morning. I tried to get my wife there. She wouldn't do it neither. He said, you want me to give you a hand? I said, both of them. <laughs> Finally got that thing fixed. But it's amazing. I'm about ready to lose it. And here's a man that I'm witnessing to. Here's a man that, tell, that I'm telling, my God, Jesus is the greatest thing in the world. My God, give it to Jesus. He can handle anything. Except a broke pipe and a dead cat and a disobedient woman.
I had a fit, a carnality. Don't laugh at me. Have you had one today? I laid my hands in that machine. I said, devil, turn loose of that wheelie. And the hot dog fell out, bam. Her bun on the back of her head, the radio wouldn't turn her, man. She's listening to something she don't know. That's all I knew was repent. Boy, these people saying, I'm going to mail this letter some other time, Jack. I'm out of here. And the devil said, this is it, Jack. You're dying with piano sauces in your mouth. She said, Dennis, a dead man coming up the road, and Jesse saw him. He said, well, close the door. I said, Grandma, what y'all doing? She said, we're watching television. I said, I know that, but why are you all dressed up? She said, they can see us. The Mary Hart Series, six DVD set. Order yours today.